Hey, what's going on, you guys? My name is Stacy, and yeah, I know I'm looking all extra regular right now, but I just finished recording my letter to my younger self. Um, this was different for me. You know, I thought this was a great idea when I originally came up with it, and as I was writing the letter, I realized that I hadn't dealt with a lot of emotions. You know, I was hiding a lot of things, and I realized while recording that I was not ready to deal with those emotions and those past experiences. So I would record a little bit, then I would stop and I would cry a little bit. I would record a little bit, and then I would get angry. So I had to go in another direction with my video. So I'm going to have to work on a couple of things before I can put out my official letter to my younger self but I hope you guys enjoy what I was able to put out and yeah I hope you enjoy what you see um, if you check the description bar down below you will see the links to some ladies that I'm doing this collab with and scroll down click their links check out their letters to their younger selves Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe on their channels as well as mine. And yeah, enjoy the show. Laters, baby. Dear me, can you believe that we are getting ready to turn 30? Nigga, we made it. Oh, God, I love you, and I'm so fucking proud of you. You grow up to be amazingly awesome. Now listen, I need you to understand something. Everybody ain't your motherfucking friend. I know you have a big heart and you want to help others, but at this stage in your life, that actually does more harm than good. Trust me, you don't want those kind of problems in your life. You're quirky, weird, and you march to the beat of your own drum, and that isn't going to change, sweetie. You're going to grow up and you're going to get a little weirder. But it's cool because your uniqueness sets you apart from others and the dudes really dig that shit. Speaking of dudes, you have a horrible habit of falling in love with fuckboys and end up getting your heart broken. Caramel Thunder will be the first and that shit will hurt like hell. You'll get your shit together for a while then find yourself on the verge of slitting your wrist when Polo leaves you. Polo is the reason why you no longer believe in love and why you cheat in every relationship after him. But I'm gonna need you to get that shit together, honey. Stop jumping in one relationship after the other. Take time to mend your broken heart and work on loving yourself because baby, you popping. You're gonna run away from home and make a lot of fucked up life decisions. No, listen. You're going to make a lot of fucked up life decisions. But I promise you, shit won't be bad forever. You actually meet some amazingly awesome women who are down for you like four flats on a caddy. You become a hella dope preschool teacher and you're a Jane of all trades. Life gets pretty sweet. Unfortunately, you make some more fucked up life decisions which cause you to experience a series of unfortunate events. You're gonna lose that sparkle in your eye, honey. And something will definitely die inside of you. The night you lose your sparkle, a monster will be born. Please learn how to control that bitch. And that starts with loving yourself from within. You have a long journey ahead of you, honey. Although there will be hella heartache and pain, there will also be lots of sunshine and rainbows. And not to mention rum and tequila. But you got this though. You're tougher than you think. Don't ever let them see you sweat, honey. Pull out your compact. Check your reflection. Apply your lip gloss. Flip your hair. Batch your lashes. Blow a kiss. And sashay away. I love you.